grant announcement. Allow me to introduce the uh, people behind me uh, who will be speaking this morning first. Uh, Dr. Quentin T. Ross, Jr., the 15th president of Alabama State University, who will speak uh, to uh, uh, the grant and its significance to the university and the partnership with the Propel HBCU Consortium. Uh, we have Dr. Michelle Samuel Fu, Director of Specialty Research, Office of Biological Sciences at Alabama State University, who will speak to the significance of the grant and its importance to students. And of course, Dr. Charles Gibbs, President of the Propel Center HBCU Consortium, who will uh, talk about uh, its vision and uh, make a presentation that we thank you very much for. When we're finished, we'll have questions from the news media. Mr. President. Thank you. Good morning. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, I am excited this morning uh, to come before you in this new year. Uh, and first, let me thank uh, our faculty and our staff for their true commitment to one of our uh, major goals of our strategic plan, 2030, which is to continue to build upon community university. And that is for us to continue to partner uh, with entities that are uh, willing to provide opportunities, not only for this institution, but for our students and us being uh, a resource to the community. And so I truly want to thank our faculty and staff for continuing to work so hard and to that end, Today we're here with one of our partners, uh, the Propel Center, uh, which is a center that was founded uh, for global innovation and a learning center for HBCUs throughout the country. And we had the opportunity to become a partner with Propel, and we are an institution that is uh, truly invested in the mission of the Propel Center. Uh, I want to thank uh, Dr. Fu, who is here with us today for her team and the others on this campus that were able to uh, implement and submit a grant to the Propel Center, which is the reason why we're here today. And so I would just like to thank them uh, for their creativity and their innovation, and I think that it speaks to what the Propel Center uh, is all about. Uh, we also want to thank the Southern Company as well as Apple, who are uh, partners, founding partners with the Propel Center for their investment uh, in HBCUs, the innovation, the creativity, uh, and the longevity uh, of our institutions in this country. Uh, and so without further ado, I will allow uh, the true uh, hero, uh, the true superstar, uh, to come to the podium to talk about not only this great partnership, but about uh, what it took to uh, be one of 15 institutions uh, to receive uh, the first round of grants from the Propel Center. Dr. Michelle Ford, thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Dr. Ross. Um, I want to begin by, first of all, thanking again the Propel Center, Dr. Gibbs, uh, Ms. Kathleen uh, Richardson, and uh, certainly Dr. Ross and the administration here at Alabama State for being tremendously supportive of all the agricultural initiatives that my team and I have established and initiated here on campus at Alabama State, which, as many of you know, is a non-land grant institution. So that means we do not have a College of Agriculture here, yet we have been able to make tremendous strides in our efforts to introduce agricultural programming to our students. With this grant, we hope to combat and to alleviate food insecurity on our campus here at Alabama State. And we also want to generally reduce hunger. We have several initiatives in mind where we plan to utilize this money that we have, this grant that we've received from the Propel Center via Apple and via the Southern Company to increase our students' access to quality education, to agricultural initiatives, and just so that they can better incorporate um, locally grown and locally sourced vegetables and, and crops into their diet for overall health and wellness. Thank you very much. And now the man of the hour uh, will take the podium for his uh, very special presentation, uh, the president of the Propel Center, uh, Dr. Charles Gibbs. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, members of the Board of Trustees, certainly uh, Dr. Michelle Fu. Uh, Mr. President, I just stopped by today just to drop off a little small token of our appreciation. We at the Propel Center are extremely excited about the work that Dr. Ross is doing here at Alabama State University, and he is absolutely right when he refers to Dr. Fu as the superstar. Out of over 40 submissions for arts and entertainment and ag tech, the Alabama State University grant stood out as one of the leading proposals to address agrotech and, of course, food and securities. With 39% of our two-year and four-year students experiencing some form of food insecurity, we thought that this was directly in line with the mission of Propel as it relates to addressing our agritech needs and how do we support our HBCUs. The Propel Center, a global innovative and learning hub to support our 100 plus HBCUs, will continue to support, innovate, and ideate collaboratively with our historically black colleges and universities to find resources to support innovative research. So Mr. President, with that being said, as I said, I can stop by for a small drop off of our appreciation. Dr. Bowden. Mr. President, Dr. Fu, on behalf of the Propel Center, we would like to award you $300,000 to support your Agritech grant submission in our first round of grants. Congratulations, Mr. President. Okay, come on, run. Okay, you have a gun state was just awarded a $300,000 grant from Propel. Gun town, we be aware. And, uh,